Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking indie polish. Specifically, we're talking about the brand Savvy Naturalista. Um, I was reached out to by the company and asked if I would review five polishes on my channel with a live application review and I gladly agreed to do that. I do like to let you guys know when I've been sent products. It isn't very often, but I was sent this collection um, to give a live application review to you and I of course told the company I will be giving a completely honest review and they will see live application and see how they apply for themselves. So there's no getting around whether polish is good or not when you see live application. Um, basically, to sum things up, I am actually super impressed with these polishes. It makes me so happy when an indie company is doing a really great job with their polishes. Um, I don't know. I, basically, I think it sums up with the fact that I like the formula, but she also, well, I'm not sure if it's a she, but they do a great job with um, their color combinations of glitters and things like that. And there's actually some holographic that I got sent as well. So I am very happy to be able to recommend this brand to you. Let me just tell you a little bit about the brand. I have their website up here. Um, the maker says, my polishes are vegan, composed of materials that are cruelty and five free. This means my nail lacquers are free of camphor, toluene, and formaldehyde. Each polish is mixed in small batches and poured by hand. And I'm looking over the website, which by the way is SavvyNaturalista.com. And the tagline says, living simple naturally, which I think is really cute. Um, and I'm looking over the website and actually quite a few of them are 50% off right now. All the polishes retail for eight, seven or eight dollars it looks like. Um, and then a number of them are marked down to four dollars, which I think is a really great deal because I actually really liked all of these. I do have to say that probably all of them, except maybe one, um, are three coaters. I didn't really mind that because they're not overly thick. And because they're like this jelly formula, jelly to crelly, you kind of expect to have to do more layers but what that does is it just brings more of the gorgeous glitters in layering on top of each other so I think it actually makes a really nice beautiful look on the nail and these feel comfortable they feel I before I even was reading on her website that um, you know that she she has this natural kind of point of view frame of mind she wants her polishes to be cruelty free and five free just painting these on my polishes I felt like they were um, like not enriching my body but you know what I mean like not harming them I put on so much nail polish all the time and you know that some of these are kind of probably just made with the most inexpensive product that they can find and most inexpensive ingredients and these don't feel like that they also don't have an overwhelming Sorry for the door bang. An overwhelming um, like smell that is like, Ooh, you know what I mean? I mean, no polish smells good, but when, well, I guess if you like scented polishes, those could smell good. But some polishes really kind of have an icky smell. These all smell like that. So anyway, we're going to run through the five that I was sent. I can't really tell if any of them are from specific collections. It kind of looks like I was just sent a mix of... Um, just some different polishes that she had so uh, make sure you go check out her website I will of course link it in the bar below so you can go take a look and see for yourself let's go ahead and get started before I forget what's on my lips today is this covergirl outlast Longwear and moisture lippy that I picked up the other day shared in my haul it's called pink pow with an exclamation point it's just very emollient feeling on the lips very comfortable to wear I don't know if I like it enough to want to go out and spend eight more dollars on a bunch more from this line, but I am glad that I tried it. This is a very subtle pink. So anyway, I like that. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with what is on my nails. I have a hard time picking favorites in this collection because I, like I said, there are a lot of really great color combos that she sent me. I said in this collection, but to rephrase. I don't think this is a collection, they're just polishes that she chose to send. Um, but this first one I'm going to share with you is definitely a favorite of mine. It's called Blue This Way, and when I look on the website it is retailing for $8. And I actually think that the picture on the website doesn't quite do this polish justice. Um, it is a nice swatch, but for me, 
the picture looks more blue and while this is blue I feel like it's kind of like a blue purple and it just has tons of holographic you can see the holographic in the picture but in person the holographic is just really really there I hope that you can see it in my live application really well so yes blue this way by the way these are what the bottles look like they are pretty similar to a lot of indie brands with this nice tall wand here for ease of application and the bottle looks like this. Of course, you'll be able to see in my close-up. Um, the bottle shot a little bit better. But yes, I really thought this was gorgeous. By the way, these are all 15 milliliters, so it's the same size of what you're getting as in like an OPI bottle. They just um, are like that. So they're just a little bit more concise with their packaging. So anyway, let me go ahead and show you how it swatches. Alright, the next polish I want to share with you is called Strawberry Blast and this one is so cool. I definitely don't have anything in my collection and um, while these are sent to me so I will not be listing them on my store envy, I probably wouldn't be listing them anyway because it would be really hard to part with these. This is so cool. It's definitely a strawberry red and it has little pieces of holographic, like darker holographic um, glitters in there so it really looks like a strawberry, you know, like with the little bits in it. I did do three coats on this one, um, but like I said before, it didn't bother me because I really liked how it looked layered, so yes, I definitely think this one is a really special red if you love red polish. It doesn't quite turn out this deep on the nail. See how dark crimson that looks? It definitely looks more of a strawberry red. So let's take a look at how it swatches. Next up, I have another blue polish to share with you. This one is called Moon Cosmic Blast 2.0. And again, on their website, um, this is retailing for $8. And basically, it's just a nice deep royal blue, but it has holographic in it again. And then it has larger hex holographic glitters. It has some very small bar glitters, like not obnoxious bar glitters. And then some um, other different sizes of silver glitters. It's really pretty. If you look on the website, I'm fairly certain that that picture is probably this polish swatched over a deep blue um, just because you can really, it's really, really opaque. And so I would imagine to get this one incredibly opaque, you'd either need a, a lot of coats or you need to swatch it over something else, which is really not a bad idea because if you look at those picture, it looks really good. Hopefully the ones that I'm going to show you too, um, you'll really enjoy the appearance of. I'm not going to be swatching it over anything. I'm just going to show you how it is um, on its own. I did do three coats for this one. It's just a really pretty blue, you guys. And if you like these kind of cosmic um, polishes where it really looks like, 
kind of galaxy on your nails. That's what this kind of is. So let me show you how it swatches. Right, next up she sent me one pink polish and you guys I don't like pink polishes but I really liked this one because it's kind of like a pink to a purple hybrid like it's moving in that direction um, you'll be able to see really well when I show you the close-up but it's called pimp my fuchsia and it's this like mauvey rosy pink and it has tons of um, purple glitter in there again it has holographic little bits in there it just has a bunch of different sized glitters this one particularly and the next one I'm going to show you, I just felt like it looks like it like it makes the jelly sandwich for you. So if you really enjoy jelly, like making that jelly sandwich appearance on your nail, this just does it for you because you need all the three coats, but once you have them down, it's so glossy and beautiful and then you just have all these different layers of your glitter underneath. I really love this one. This was actually the first one that I tried and I was like, oh wow, this is quite sheer at one coat. But then once you get all the way to the third one, and it's not obnoxious because it's not too thick, you can just really appreciate the dimension of this color. I think I wore this for two or three days because I liked it so much and you know when I tell you that, that's really saying something because my swatch schedule is full. Um, yeah, I really, really like this one guys, so let's check it out. Okay, the last one that I was sent is called Let the Green Thumbs Roll, and this retails for $7. And I didn't mention the um, Pimp My Fuchsia what is also retailing for $7. So this one is very similar to that one where it's very, um, I mean, I've, I've dealt with sheerer polishes, but it's definitely on the sheerer side of the ones that I was sent. And it's this kind of really gorgeous teal, like watery teal feeling color, and it has fuchsia gold and this bright bright turquoise glitter in it the turquoise glitter I do notice kind of sinks towards the bottom so you kind of have to um, fish around or leave it sitting upside down for a little while to get those to come out very well in your swatch however the color combination is just so gorgeous and I wish that I had such a good eye to make these kind of color combinations um, again this does need all three coats to be able to be opaque enough um, but I did really think it was beautiful. So let me go ahead and show you on the nail.
Okay guys, so that was the whole review. Those were all five polishes that I was sent. I definitely am not trying to sugarcoat anything for you. And of course, since everything is live application, you can see for yourself how it worked for me. And um, yeah, I just, I thought these were great. Again, I really love to showcase indie brands because I think that um, these polish makers are doing such a great job putting out these great polishes that aren't mainstream and really giving us something fun and interesting. And it's great to support the small business owner, at least in my opinion. I really think it is. So that is the whole review. I hope that you found something intriguing or nice to look at or that you just enjoyed hanging out with me a little bit today. Make sure you go out and check out this website. Um, just go ahead and take a look. I think all the indie brands deserve us to take a look at them and give them a chance. So anyway, that is my whole review. I hope that you found this helpful. I will see you back next time and have a really great day, you guys. Bye.